long division of cubic polynomials. If you want to divide a cubic polynomial by a linear factor, as in this example, you need to follow a, a set method. First you need to set it up as a long division, and then you have to start thinking about how the factor can go into the polynomial. First think of the x term and the x cubed term. So what multiplied by x gives x cubed? And the answer to that is x squared. So you sit that above the line in the x squared columns. It's very important to set things out in columns in your working out. As soon as you place something above the line, you then need to multiply that by the linear factor and write it underneath the polynomial, again keeping things in columns. As soon as you write something underneath, you need to put a line underneath it and subtract from the terms above. So don't forget when you are subtracting negative 2, you, it's the same as adding, so you'll have negative 12x squared plus 2x squared gives you negative 10x squared. Of course, x cubed minus x cubed is 0. Once you've done the subtraction, you need to bring down the next term and write it alongside. Okay, now we need to think what multiplied by x gives us negative 10x squared. So that's negative 10, and again, write it above the line in the x column. Okay, as soon as you've multiplied, uh, written something above the line, you need to multiply the linear factor by that and write it underneath. Don't forget here we're multiplying by negative 10x. Okay, as soon as you've written something underneath, you put a line under it and subtract negative 10x squared, subtract negative 10x squared gives us 0, and 44x take 20x gives 24x. Then bring down the next term and write it alongside. Okay, now we need to think something multiplied by x gives us 24x. So that's obviously 24, and you need to write that above the line in the uh, constant column. As soon as we've written something above the line, you need to multiply the linear factor by that and write it underneath. Okay, now as soon as you've written something underneath, you need to subtract them 24x, subtract 24x is 0, negative 48, subtract negative 48 is also 0, and we have finished our long division. So don't forget what that means. Uh, we've successfully shown that x cubed minus 12x squared plus 44x take 48 equals x take 2 times by x squared take 10x plus 24.